M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So here we are with the Pico APRS. Look how small it is. And we've just done the unboxing video. It's basically a TNC APRS transceiver that works on two meters, also can do eye gate as well. And I've seen some other videos actually demonstrating it using voice on 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 SSB. So uh yeah, we'll wait and see for that in a future video. It does come just exactly as you're seeing now. I'll just take this antenna off now. This antenna wasn't with it. The idea is that you're going to get yourself an antenna or, or connect an external antenna via an adapter. I'll just quickly show you the battery that's in it. It's quite a, quite, uh, quite a basic case, I would say. It's made by Wimo in Germany. And there's your little battery there. You can actually buy these. Sometimes they've actually post posted these out with without uh, a battery because uh, of certain posting conditions so there it is in there you'll see inside Wimo and their details and it says on there VHF board version 1.0 by Delta Bravo 1 NTO that's Tana so excellent so put that back on and it's USB-C charging just need to make sure that when we um push this on we don't press too hard on this on the small screen it does need to click into place got a couple of screws there as well just here and here so you could take the take it apart if you really want to and that's what it's coming now to turn it on i'll just turn it off a minute you just push the middle button to turn it off sorry middle let's go and that's it go to the left and then turn it off that's how you turn it off. And to turn it on, hold down the PTT for three seconds. I'm just going to set the brightness level if I can. So it says Pico APRS version 4. And we're going to go menu, settings, brightness, and then we just, just turn it down. So we go menu again, across the settings with the toggle, push the middle button, brightness, and then just dim it right down. Like so, enter, and then to the left, go close. Now just to, I just want to, I'm interested to know, if I turn it off and then turn it back on, does it keep its brightness? So you just press the middle to the left. This typical me, oh, there you are, left, left, buy, and then turn it on. Yeah, I think it has kept its dimness, which is definitely better. Let's get a better focus here so we can see it. Let's start looking at the menus. Put the antenna on. Now, we're not really receiving a GPS signal where I'm recording, unfortunately. So we might have to go out and do some tests on this. We'll push to the left first, and then we get this settings menu. Like so, um, off, settings, we start at the top, work our way down. We've got device mode, brightness, software update. I'm pretty sure we'd need to be internet connected for that. GPS power save, beep, units, time offset, and device info. So it says software version 9, modem version 18, and a long number there, and Tanner as well. To push to the left to close. Push to the left again for the menu. We've got this SOS. We've got an X exit there. GPS, which at the moment we're not getting anything. Push to the left to close. Last herb, but we've not set it up yet. So let's get do the exit man. A bit like a cinema exit. And this time we're going to push to the right. My symbol left to close and we're going to go tx interval now we'll get my call sign in there so let's do that m zero f x b enter Go all the way down, push to the right and click OK. 
Oh. Now I've got all this set up here. DB1, oh my god, it's already transmitted. Look, searching GPS. And it says it there. It said DB and DB1 NTO. It's quite a mouthful. Okay, well that was good, wasn't it? And it's given me dash seven for now. Let's go back to set. TX interval. Oh, 10 seconds seems a bit high. Let's just set it for, yeah, 100 seconds for now. Close. Push to the left to close. Menu. Oh, let's come out of that. SSD. We've got that at 7. We'll leave that for now. Comment. So we'll go, we'll put in south. Now you can connect this to the internet. That's another thing I'm going to need to teach myself. West. Oh, we've got some things there. We need to delete everything first. So see the little back yellow. I'm going to delete everything. Actually, the Pico was probably quite good. I like that. So we'll leave the Pico. So we'll go I. Pico, then space. Oh, we're going too fast. We can go up and down. Pico, and it has saved it. Space. A. P. R. S. For now, just for now. Got our message. Go push to the right. We've done comment. My status text. I think I'll leave that for now. Go back by going all the way down. Click OK. Set again. Frequency, we, that's correct for the UK, but you can change it, it's two meters. It says that to you. Exit, push to the left. So that's literally how simple it is to set up, and I think that's very simple. Uh, now, the thing I want to set up is the Wi-Fi. I need to learn how to set up the Wi-Fi so we can, once we get it Wi-Fi, then we can start to connect it to things like APRS that we've got here in the background and start TXing here. So it should TX quite soon. Now, um, let's have a go, let's go set. X, I want to find menu. Could it be the satellite? Now that's satellite view. Last heard, SOS, settings. So we're looking for, because it's got Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Let me just have a look, quick look at the manual. You will press menu, and what you do, you keep cycling across, and then you get to Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So let's do Wi-Fi first, select. Wi-Fi setup. It's going to scan and find my my strongest signal. Which, yeah, it's Mercury. Select it with the middle thing. And then what's my password? Let's just make sure we're right at the beginning. All right, let's get my password in. I'll press OK. And for Wi-Fi to work, you do need to be in eye gate mode. So it has gone into Wi-Fi, but I had to change that, so you went menu, settings, device mode, and I went down to eye gate, receive eye gate. Once I did that, it was fine. And let's exit for now. We've got Wi-Fi, so now let's have a go at doing Bluetooth. We'll go menu, push to the left, go all the way across, Bluetooth not available in this mode. So again, we're in the wrong mode. So we'll go menu, device mode. Let's try receive eye gate. Maybe Bluetooth, we might need to be in KISS. I've used KISS in TNC in Bluetooth. So let's just try it. Receive eye gate. Then we'll go menu, go across to Bluetooth. There is instructions not available. So we'll go menu. Device mode, and we'll go kiss. There it is there, look, I can select which mode I want to use. So 
so you can select via USB and TCP and Bluetooth so we're going to leave it as that let's exit and just see if it allows me then to do to set up Bluetooth no well I, I can read further but the main thing was we were trying to see how how to find it last weather data message so let's just go menu back out see if I can update it now software update see if it allows me using hopefully we're in Wi-Fi nothing at the moment oh something happened and it's rebooted is it gonna Wi-Fi I think it needs to be dimmed down again, so we'll go. Well, it looks like it uploaded that quickly, or you know, updated. Looks like it rebooted. It probably has the latest firmware. Anyway, we've got Wi Fi. So let's just go back to APRS, device mode, APRS. We just had that, and if we look at these messages, look, they're all coming from me. How about if we TX? Let's see what happens. So I've only had this for five minutes, so we're learning, but we will do detailed videos on how to use this device. But I just got it, I just fancy playing, so go F menu and we'll do beacon. Yeah, I've got no GPS, but it has found me. Let's click open. Who is show QR code, send message, last heard for... GPS power save beep. There it goes again. It's going about every hundred seconds, isn't it? My comment. If we look at my messages, let's have a look. Still quite bright, isn't it? Have a look at the message so F menu we'll go station list there you go and it's showing let's see if we've got any comments here Te yeah the Pico APRS right well I think that's as much as we're going to do now what I'm going to do really is go through the manual one setting at a time so we're not even getting a lock here. Open. Let's go to open again. Follow who is? Question mark. Show QR code. Send message. So I can follow. I can send a message to that person. I just wanted to see their info, to be honest. Last heard. There it is. Um, I'm only getting that. It says M0FXB6 here, so I'm guessing I've set 6 there in the APR settings. So that's enough for now, but eventually we'll be able to get it to interact with this APRS app via internet. We'll get it sending messages back and forth, sending messages on the internet via eye gate, and just in the normal APRS way, we'll get an antenna connected to it, an external antenna to it. Let's charge it up, and thanks for watching my channel so far. Having fun. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So this is the Pico APRS transceiver and it's two meters and transceives on APRS TNC KISS. It can use Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, it's USB chargeable but also USB connectable. It has a tiny little speaker at the top and you toggle all the settings here. It's excellent, it's made by Delta Bravo 1 November Tango Oscar so check the website out and at the moment we're, I'm actually up in the loft to get a GPS signal so let's just quickly look at what we're seeing here GPS compass my home hold OK to save current position so let's do it saved so we've got my position saved obviously we need a lock look at that compass is working And there's my GPS data. Satellites in use. Speedometer, I'm not really moving, but if I was in the car. 
GPS devi sorry, deviation. I mean, this is fantastic, isn't it? My location, I could zoom in if I press something and then hold lock. Back to my home. I mean, how cool is that? Now we'll back out, we'll close. Now the way you get into the menu on this device is you go across to settings and then you've got this menu. Brightness device mode, look at this. APRS, eye gate, GPS, KISS TNC, FM voice, so you can have a two meter contact, I'll show you that in a separate video. FM and Wi-Fi APRS, fill in Digi, Let's exit, you just push to the left to exit. Now we've got a set menu to the right. You've got all the, this is the easy bit, just putting in your APRS settings, symbol, TX interval, my call, SSID, and your comments. And it, you can even set the frequency for your two meters. Let's back out, go back to menu. SOS, that's just exit. There's my GPS where we were just now. Last heard, nothing there at the moment. If you keep going across, you get to set your Bluetooth, so you can pair it with software that will work with Bluetooth via, for APRS, like APRS Droid and things like that, and Wi-Fi as well. Last weather data, nothing received at the moment. We've not been on for long. Radio settings, you can choose what you're gonna be using. exit so that's good and now I've got my radio downstairs it's showing my you know you know what my settings are at the moment which all can be changed so I think that's about it so have some fun obviously you've got the more peripherals that we connect this to the antenna doesn't come with it but you can uh, get yourself an antenna it's got a camera battery in the back of it it's a color screen I've got it dimmed down it's actually quite bright so what I'll do for fun in a minute, I'll grab my a radio that's busy on, on a two meter free. It does have to be two meters. And I'll um, show you what it sounds like. Obviously, it's a bit tinny. It's small. So thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air. 7-3. All the best. M0 FXB going to show you how to set up a repeater on GB3WR on the Pico APRS made by DB1NTO. And this is a APRS mini transceiver, one watt, but it can do APRS, KISS TNC, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and so much more. And it's a very small device. So all you do is go menu, then go across to with the left button, then go right and select the cog settings, device mode, and select, go down and select FM voice. Once you've done that, we're going to set up a memory channel. So all you do is go... Click to the right, go set. And that was actually receiving my repeater. I just took the antenna off there. So we'll just go to the right and we'll go to memory list. And we'll go to number two and we'll do a new one. We'll select with the middle cog. And we'll go edit. Down one to edit. Okay. Then we'll go to the name. We can give it a name. So we'll go GB3 G. B3, go down, W, R, and then go down to OK, click OK, that's the name, then we can go to the TX frequency, now the way you do it is you just delete with the arrow, here, I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way, it's quite hard, 1, 4, we'll go up, 4, 5, and then it'll be pretty sure the first one is the zero zero let's just check let's just check that's the receipt that's the TX no that's correct then the receive frequency is go down one and select and then we're going to delete go to one four five six zero 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 enter click OK once we've done that, then we'll go down one more and we'll go to TX Tone. And we're going to go up until we get to 94.8. Select. We don't need the Receive Tone. So we'll close.
We've got the TX tone, RX tone is fine, and then we're going to exit. So we've got everything in there, and we should be able to test it now. That's fine, we're better with an antenna on, like so. Now we want to store that in our memory, so we go set, memory list, go down, and we'll go to use. So it looks like it has stored it, use, and then when we key now, we will receive GB3WR, and I'll show you some video doing that as well. Thanks for watching my channel, 7-3, all the best. There you are, Pico APRS. M0FXB, yeah, thanks very much for the contact. 73, all the best. So that's GB3WR via the Pico APRS on 1 watt. 73, M0FXB YouTube channel. And move to your my, my Android device. Swipe down and just double check that you are paired. Hold down. And it's paired, okay? Once you're paired, come out. Turn on your Pico, and it's working great, isn't it? You get the messages here. There's our little Pico doing its thing. I'll do, I'll do another video now on USB. Um, what was the other thing? But if you want, you could go back, if we go back to, now we haven't got a GPS lock annoyingly, but we'll go back to menu, just here. Show you. So small. <laughs> right, so we go menu, back to settings, device mode, and we'll go back to APRS. As soon as we do that, it starts to transmit straight away, even though we haven't got a lock, to my, it's a different number because we've got six programmed in here, and that's my information there. And I'll just show you again how you, the settings and that is, look, symbol, interval of transmission, Call sign, SSD, comments, status text, frequency. I'll just show you the frequency, which is 144800. So that's it. That's basically how to interact with... And there must there's, there's programs on your computer. I haven't even learned about those programs yet. That you can do the same thing with. It does, you don't have to use APRS Droid. I mean, APRS Droid is the, is the, um, you know, the Android. Is it on iOS? I don't know. And look, it's gone into error here because I've stopped using it. We've got an error now listed on APRS Droid because it's not connecting. I will have I will use the the PC Windows version of doing this as well. At the moment, that's just me just automatically sending messages. See the GPS no lock. And the funny thing is, I can actually use this as radio as well. Watch this menu. <clears throat> you go to device mode. Choose that you're going to be a radio, basically. I've even set up memory channels. Let me get an antenna on there, and we'll scan the memory channels, and you see me pick up some local repeaters. And I have spoke to them, on my, and I've got to get good reports. I need to get a better connector, really, because this is putting quite a lot of stress on the, on the SMA. It does work fine, but if I had an accident, it literally would break. So, uh, you know, just I'm going to go. I'm going to order one online in a minute, just... Uh, SMA with a nice, nice loose flexi with plenty of slack on it. Anyway, so we're in VFO mode. So what we'll do, we'll go menu. Now we'll go set, memory scan. It will start scanning my memories. And if it finds any activity, it will stop. And of course, there is no activity. Let's check there are antennas, antennas on there, good. Yeah, antenna, it's a collinear in the loft. If I went outside, it, you, I could, literally will be able to do T, you know, APRS. I'll take it on the hill with me when I walk the dog. I'll be able to do APRS and um, talk to my repeaters all with this tiny little handheld and I'll get good reports. It works well. So let's just let it stop. Then we'll, we'll choose one and then we'll have a quick hello. So we'll go menu. Let's just get this right. 
set you press when you're in memory in radio mode memory list let's choose one that's strong gb3w gb3bc and then we'll use it if you edit it look you edit your tx rx there's no shift you put that in and your tone but anyway let's go back um so we we'll go menu it's a wrong one again to go out you choose the little man set memory list db3 then you go use okay and if i key up now m0 fxb test and that's the repeater coming back to me and last time i did that i had about three people come back to me so it's it's pretty good isn't it it is, it is a James Bond device, literally. It's tiny. There's an antenna. If I can zoom it in. Look, the antenna is the same size. And it's a dumpy, small antenna. It does have a battery on the back. It's a camera battery, which is a good idea because you can buy them anywhere. USB-C and chargeable and connectable. Wi-Fi that is, works well, Bluetooth, PTT. I do think they may as well have done a, a much better, stronger case. I think they may as well. Um, because it's an expensive item, so we wanna know we, we're not gonna break it. And at the moment, you know, I wouldn't wanna drop it a few times. But the, the upside is I bet you can just buy by the case, then it's just four screws. Take the battery off, four screws. Let's get the battery off. Oh, turn it off first, really. I've just, the battery just comes out, it literally like an old video camera. There's the board. And I bet you, you can sort of almost see the board that this, two screws, my guess is, two screws here. And here, four screws, and it, I bet you it will just lift out. It will just lift out, and, you know, including the antenna. And then you could, I think you could, he does sell a board. Uh, that's the antenna uh, at, you know, DB1NTO. Look on his site. VHF board version 1.0 Tanner. But I'm not sure what that costs. And it, it is Wimo that manufacture this, so it will be Wimo you contact. But look, if you take the battery off, I take the, let's get this off a minute. It doesn't weigh anything. I mean, it's amazing the technology that, and how they've managed to design this. But I know everything's micro now, isn't it? With mobile phones and stuff, but look at that. And uh, the board is, you know, very, very good. That's all I can say. Bye for now. 73 Pico APRS by DB1 NTO Tanner in Germany. 73. M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. Pico APRS, the smallest APRS transceiver in the world with a color screen as well. And it has USB connectivity, Wi Fi, and Bluetooth. So in this video, we're going to show you it interacting with APRS Droid. So let's do the settings on the actual Pico first. On the Pico, you just go to menu. Then go to settings, so run over to the right, settings, select the cog, see it says device mode, enter in the middle, then go down to KISS TNC, and you've got these different options, USB-C, TCP, Bluetooth and Bluetooth LE, so we're just going to go Bluetooth and select. Okay, and straight away we're in the correct mode and the Bluetooth symbol has appeared. Now let's swipe down on our device and just make sure that Bluetooth is turned on as well. And it will find the Pico and then we pair it. Okay, done. So we're all paired. Now we're going to go into the settings menu, APRS. Let's just get that correct. There's APRS Droid. That's the, that's the thing you have to download, by the way. APRS Droid. Go to three dots, then select Preferences. Once you're in Preferences, of course you need your, your call sign. Okay, SSID. 
We cho we've chose seven for now. The path is by default, I've left that. And then connection preferences, connection type, go down. It says KISS TNC here as well. TNC KISS. Connection type, Bluetooth. We've got other options there as you can see, TCIP and USB serial, which we will try. Have a look, TNC Bluetooth. And that's it shows that it's paired. If it's not, it your device definitely needs to be in there. If it's not there, it's not going to work because then it, it shows it's paired. Now we're not showing Bluetooth here, so let's just turn that back on again so it does pair. Because you def you need to see Bluetooth on your little Pico. Just go menu, put toggle to the left, settings, device mode, and then kiss TNC, and it is Bluetooth. So that's it, you've got Bluetooth showing now. And let's uh, see if we can get a transmission. The point behind this is that once you've done it, when you receive, when you, uh, when you do something with APRS FI, it will send it, it will link to this, then your radio, your RF radio, will then receive it. Let's go back to the main thing, send position. Okay, it started doing it now, and then you get all the information here in the APRS droid log you want. Let's select. We'll wait a while. Bluetooth, kiss. Send. There it goes. Scroll through. Comment text, A APRSdroid.org. So it's getting information from APRS Droid. It's, you, it's linked to your KISS TNC, and then that is sending it to an RF radio. It means even if you're out of range of 144800 APRS packet signals, you're getting them from the internet and still receiving them on, on, on your, oops, on your radio. So okay, I'm quite new to this. I'm going to try the TNC way of doing things and the USB eventually. You just go to menu. You just go back. Look, you can set the frequency as well that you so that you want to set this on. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world. Click, uh, go across to OK. That's your frequency set. Now if we come out of it, come out of the this mode. Go menu, device mode, go back to APRS. It will just start transmitting now. That came straight from this device. But obviously, if, without a good antenna connection, we're not receiving all the packets. If I put an external antenna on here, it will start to receive all the packets. I mean, it even gets my local repeater, watch this. It's all programmed in. Made a separate video setting this up, watch. That's my local GB3BC. Right, we've got our external antenna on, and we'll do some videos showing all the packets coming in. But for now, bye for now, 7.3 Bluetooth connection.